The caves of Goyer are just a stone's throw from Belgium's Arden Forest. Archaeologist Christian Casseas leads the way, navigating over 250 meters of dark and narrow galleries. There are a few more corridors to go through, and after that they'll expand and we'll reach a bigger room closer to the surface where the prehistoric men used to live and where we found the remains of Neanderthal men. The Neanderthals lived in these very caves around 40,000 years ago. Their remains were discovered in the middle of the 19th century. But up until now, their secrets remained well hidden. The bones were fractured like the bones from reindeer and horses that were found at the entrance of the cave, probably to extract the marrow. We found traces of cutting on these bones to disarticulate, to remove the flesh. So we thought to ourselves, wow, we've really found something exceptional here. Neanderthals in Goye were cannibals. Evidence of cannibalism had already been established in Neanderthal populations, but only in southern Europe, notably Spain and France. The human bones discovered in Goyer belong to six different individuals. Some of these bones, after having been cleaned and cut, have also been used to make tools. They've been used to touch up the edges of stone tools or to resharpen their flints. We now know our ancestors did use to eat each other in this area. But whether it was part of a ritual or purely for sustenance, the reasons behind the cannibalism remain, to this day, a mystery.